Well, this is the initial startup of Xbox Series X. I see an Xbox logo that is pulsing. But that's all. <laughs> the longer this goes on, the more nervous I am becoming. got a little animation so you know that it's doing something and not just frozen which is a nice touch people who have been around software a while know don't make it do stuff that uh, <laughs> will make people turn it off while it's in the middle of something important uh, they could have been a little less subtle about that though okay I do have the Xbox app on my phone This is in many languages. <laughs> console. Set up a console. Set up a new console. Enter the code on your TV. Agui. Winidif. Connect. Allow access to location services. So immediately, my Xbox wants to stalk me, and I have allowed it. So, good. Now I'm driving from my phone. English, US, good. Let's update. The console needs a 775 megabyte update. Wow. <laughs> Oh, and it's asking for a power mode. I'm going with instant on, obviously. Sign in and security preferences. I do not want anyone to have to log in on this. Instant sign in. Yes, please. Keep my games and apps under, up to date. Yes, please. Turn on remote features. Yes, please. Let's get you signed in with an Xbox profile. Well, I have one of those. How we use your data. Make your... Sure, you guys can have my optional diagnostic data. Give your console a name. Wheezies. Look at that. That's nice that they're doing that instead of um, instead of making you do it after the fact. Wheezies series X. Yes. Next. Send me info, whatever, I can always unsubscribe. Take my soul! If you want, you can select a console to copy your assisting settings from. What? All right, fine. Take it from my 1X. Explore the app while your console updates. I actually do have a way to capture my phone screen. I don't have it set up, and I don't feel like fucking with it right now when uh, my console's hooked through everything. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, this is updating, verifying, so it downloaded the update, now it's verifying, hey look at that, we've got your settings, alright, so I can use my app to find games, I mean I've already got games, I am planning on grabbing a Game Pass subscription, which, well done, Microsoft. <laughs> you got me. We'll see how that goes. Well, this is updating. You know, there used to be a time, we'll go through some story time here, when you could buy a video game console and a game and you plugged them in and they just worked. You didn't have to download updates. You didn't have to connect to the internet. They did a lot less, but they just turned on and you played. No muss, no fuss. We are past those days. <laughs> Although 
I think as devices go forward and our accounts start to unify, it will be pretty close to the day when you can plug a piece of electronics into your local network at home. It will find who you are because it will know from your network ID and it will download your profile, sync everything up almost instantly. So, you know, brave, brave new world upcoming. Why am I not live streaming this exciting experience? Why am I narrating it? Is there a chance I'm going to upload this video? I suppose so. Maybe I will just because I shouldn't. I mean, that would be fantastic. I mean, look, it's still updating. I can go ahead and switch over. Uh, let's see. Hi. Hi. I'm here. As my console is updating. Isn't this exciting? Oh, it's exciting. I'm excited. Are you excited? You're probably not excited. But you should be. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Move my monitor now. My camera's just not even where it's supposed to be. Ah, it's almost there. It's 81% applying, but 92% over. I guess that makes sense because it's 82% of the way through step three, which is 92% of the total process. This is this is fantastic math here, folks. Wheezy coming at you with that engineering level shit. <laughs> Sit tight. I am sitting tight. How tight am I sitting? Is that, I don't, maybe that was TMI. I don't know how tight I'm supposed to be sitting. I still have a little bit of coffee left from this morning. It's 440. It's still warm, good mug. Oh, my hair, a little crazy. I need another haircut. As Ann Cap likes to call it, my accountant hair. It's exciting, oh God, here we go. <laughs> Checking for my settings. Cool. I used the app and sent them. Press and hold the power button on your controller. I have done that. Did Xbox just see? Welcome. Press A. I can do that too. I'm so good at Xboxing. Let's update your controller. Keep the controller motionless and turned on. Wow. This is next level technology. Absolutely next level. I would show you the controller right now, but it's supposed to remain motionless and turned on. I'm turned on and mostly motionless. The Xbox app logged in. It's really not, not doing anything right now, but being there. So that's a thing. What is, it's got a notification up here. System update is complete. Your console is done updating. Thanks phone. My controller's not done updating. This is a new era of technology that even I wasn't prepared for. You know, just a few seconds ago and I was telling you that video game consoles used to be able to be plugged in and played without updates. Even in the last generation of consoles, you could plug in the controller and it just worked. It didn't need its own software update that takes about as long as it took to update the entire system. I mean, I guess since I'm supposed to keep it motionless, you can... Stare down at my crotch slash... Oh, that's PlayStation controller. Oh, that's blasphemy. There it is. And there's my crotch. Okay. <laughs> is that good content? It's the best content. You are welcome. Still updating the controller. I was not expecting this part of my Xbox experience. Here. Xbox, one terabyte, 4K, 120 frames per second. I do not yet have a 120 hertz display it's on my short list. I probably could have had enough money to invest in a 120 hertz display if I hadn't also got this. <laughs> um. I 
haven't set that one up yet either. Oh god! Controller's almost updated. What's gonna happen next? I can't wait. Okay, here we go. Next. Good. Controller updated. Hey! Wait. Huh? Oh, that's right, because I signed in through my phone. I was like, it knows my account already. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. One month. Yeah, I don't want Ultimate because I don't really do this stuff on my PC, but I will take Xbox Game Pass for console. Wait. Ultimate includes EA Play? Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, why? Why am I? Why am I a sucker? It's okay. I can always cancel if I need to. Joining it will upgrade your remaining Xbox Live Gold membership into a Game Pass Ultimate at the current conversion ratio. I don't know what that means. Just take my money. <laughs> take my PayPal. All right. We'll see what happens. It's a brave new era where the new console has released without any compelling exclusive games. <laughs> cool. Uh, this monitor does not support awesome, cool things like HDR. Um, but, uh, no, let's keep it at 4K. All right. Well, there we go. Oh, do I have... I just realized I had the audio on my, my speakers turned off. Hey, it makes the same sound as the Xbox One X does. That's exciting. This looks mostly the same. <laughs> Holy shit. Am, am I on my Xbox One X? This is exactly the same. Well, I'll be damned. All right, let's go ahead and install that. Well. EA Play, although I bought that game, so Game Pass, Game Pass. Well. Wow, it it really did get all the stuffs. Okay. Let's go look at some settings. Uh, network personalization. This looks exactly the same. I mean, that's not a bad thing, but man. Huh. I am on the, I'm on the correct Xbox, right? <laughs> uh, all right, that's all fine. System, what do we got for storage? 800 gigabytes free. Okay, cool. I can put old games on my on an external drive, but uh, don't need to get to that just yet. Remote features, enable remote features. All right. Well, this should have button mappings. Let's see. I want invert Y on invert what? Right axis stick Y axis and those are separate. So yes, invert Y on the right stick is the way I like to roll. So now that should be set for every game. The Xbox 360 did that. As far as I'm aware, was there a setting on Xbox One X to do that? Because I guess I didn't really go hunting for it, but I'm sure there probably was. But anyway, there is on this, which is good. Uh, let's see for the display, what it's showing that I'm displaying at. 4K UHD. So this doesn't have a 20, 120 hertz, doesn't support HDR10. Now my TV out in my den doesn't support 120 hertz, but it does support HDR. But until I upgrade my monitor in here, this is what I'm dealing with. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I bought the disc version of this. It has not arrived yet. My Xbox showed up before the game. <laughs> so, that's a thing. What do we got on Game Pass here? Wait, I clicked on Game Pass. Why is this showing Mandalorian? Is Mandalorian on Game Pass? 
Huh? Four is a four. Enjoy these perks. Claim by. What does that mean? Claim. Take a trip. Exclusive bundle. Cool. I like Forza. I'll claim that. To redeem the code. Oh, God. I can't show this now because it has a has a code. Oh, wait. If I redeem it, then you guys are fucked. <laughs> Too late. Confirm. That's cool. I'm glad that I didn't have to like write that down and type it in. <laughs> that would have sucked. Can, wait, can I go back to? Can I go back to that thing I was just doing? There was more stuff. What is this? What? Get a 30-day trial. Well, that's not really claiming anything now, is it? Cloud Gaming Beta with Ultimate. Okay, so Ultimate does that too, huh? Well, that's good. I did do the uh, beta for that. Oh, look at that. EA Play has Jedi Fallen Order. <gasps> and I just bought it a few weeks ago. But oh well, I've already been playing it. Good times. Quests. Play any Game Pass game. Long into the Game Pass mobile app. Oh, okay. Madden. Alright, what's in EA Play? So apparently I have this. Skate. Need for Speed Heat. Battlefield 5. Anthem. You guys can't give it away, can you? Ah, lots of Battlefield. That's cool, actually. I want, I'm curious how Battlefield 4 would run on this thing. Um, black. Oh, man, that was so good back in the day. Oh, PS2 days, right? No, PS, I guess that would have been... Yeah, no, Xbox, original Xbox PS2 days. Man, that is some old school. Let's see what else. All the old FIFA, old Maddens. Oh, the other Mirror's Edge. I never played that. I liked the original Mirror's Edge. Played Catalyst. All right. So there's some stuff in here. There's some stuff. Battlefront 2. Rainbow Six Siege Deluxe Edition. Well, look at that. I actually have the original that I bought on the PS4. Gears Tactics. Five Nights at Freddy's. So I will love that. Destiny 2. Beyond Light. Whoa! Wait, Beyond Light is in Game Pass? Really? <laughs> Why would they put that at the bottom? Isn't that a brand new release for Destiny 2? Isn't that like an ex a paid expansion? I mean, I know Destiny 2 went free to play, but... I mean, yeah. It, yeah, it's a it's a forty dollar game. Right? So where does it say? Beyond light. So if you get the season pass. Yeah, it's like a like a full on paid expansion. Well that's alright, well I just got that for fucking free. Claimed, claimed, owned. Man. Oh, wait. Doesn't, isn't Forza 7 one of these Game Pass case, games? Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Forza 7 playing Forza 6. I just finished the, like, initial, like, categories of Forza 6. All right, Forza 7. How big are these going to be? <laughs> I'm going to fill up my hard drive before I even get started. Well... Shooters. Alan Wake. Battlefields. Crises. Halo Spartan Assault. How do I not... What even is that? A top-down shooter. Really? I didn't even know Halo had one of those. 
Medal of Honor, Airborne, Mohab. Perfect dark. Oh, beautiful. You you don't even have PUBG. It's like you don't even have a fucking title. Are you that are you that ubiquitous? People just know. Forsaken, Shadow Keep. The other expansions. Rare replay. Gears 5. Ultimate. I have my own Gears 5. Oh. Well, what about action and adventure? Alien Isolation, which, you know, I've owned since 2014. <laughs> <sighs> Battletoads! What? The new Battletoads. Oh. Well, if I had time to play a lot of video games, there are definitely a lot of video games to play. I'm sure my son will greatly enjoy this. Hmm. Goat Simulator. That was one of the PlayStation Plus downloads a couple a few months back. So I have it on my PS4. Minecraft. And Minecraft Dungeons. Oh, Seb's gonna lose his shit. Although I'll download those on the Series S. Since I don't really need them in here with me. Instantly I'm happy. So I was originally gonna get that S. No Man's Sky. Really? I have that on the PlayStation. Which is where I'm gonna keep it, because PlayStation also has the PSVR of it. But yeah, I got the Xbox Series S. Cause I was like, uh man, that's a Xbox One launch game. Uh because I was thinking I might resell it when I got the pre-order for the Xbox One X. Things were selling really fast. Through the Microsoft site, I actually managed to grab the Xbox One s as well after i got the x i was like i'll try and see if there's an s available um and i got one too and i was like oh maybe i'll resell it just you know case case things are still really high demand uh but then the more i thought about it the more i was like you know what i think i'm just going to keep it so that the kids can play it on the other tv but being digital only and me being a lover of the physical game uh it's putting me in an inter interesting conundrum but game pass solves that conundrum because i'm basically just renting a bajillion games I ain't gotta buy shit outright unless I want to. So, I'll be. Seb's been playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and that I bought digitally because it was on sale on the uh, Xbox store. So, yeah. Well, alright. Is this still. Still get the same place to, like check the download queue what is it system and then updates no system backup and storage no uh this was always irritating to try and figure out how to view your download queue i thought it was under like updates console info no what? Near activity feed? No. Notifications. No. <laughs> what the shit? Uh, am I gonna have to go through all of them? Network settings. Ban nope. Don't care about that. Account. Payment and billing. Subscriptions. I. <laughs> Oh, you click here and then you view contents and then, ugh, God, that is awful. <laughs> you just be able to just scroll over and do that. It's everything queued up. Everything's queued up. What's actually downloading? Oh, the events thing. So it's going to be a while before I actually get access to games. <laughs> what happens if I just, do I just want to stick an Xbox One game? in here right. ah, battlefield <laughs> gears halo I mean it can't be can't be a new Xbox without a halo game on it right
All right. So I just head, head, fed Halo 5 into the disk drive. Let's see what it does. Installing from disk, not from the network. Although as soon as it installs, it's going to not let me play it because it's going to need to install an update from the network. <laughs> 57 gigabytes? You'll need it to play on this console. Wow. Cancel. Pause installation. I don't need you to do that. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I don't need to install 56 gigs of a game I'm not going to play. So, got the thing set up and updated. Let's see if I can do this again. System, storage, view storage, view contents, queue. What's in the updates? The store is updating. They're all, they're all resume. No, not this one. Nope, cancel, cancel. Cancel. Don't need that. So let's see. Games. Apps. Groups. Okay. So hopefully it, yeah, it's not going to leave whatever partial shit it put on there. Hmm. So, <laughs> that's installing. Apparently, nothing else is happening. So, apparently, uh, I'm going to just wait for my Xbox to be done doing stuff so that I can do stuff. Welcome to the next generation. <laughs> uh, 